it, you got to change. You just can't stay the same. I left boxing, and remember, it was Howard Cosell calling all of my fights on H, uh, ABC. George Foreman is an American former professional boxer, entrepreneur, minister, and author. He competed between 1967 and 1997. He's a two-time world heavyweight champion and an Olympic gold medalist. Foreman is the oldest to ever win the World Heavyweight Boxing Championship of major honors and the second oldest in any weight class after Bernard Hopkins at light heavyweight. Foreman's been inducted into the World Boxing Hall of Fame and International Boxing Hall of Fame. The International Boxing Research Organization rates Foreman as the eighth greatest heavyweight of all time. In 2002, he was named one of the 25 greatest fighters of the past 80 years by The Ring. The Ring ranked him as the ninth greatest puncher of all time. He was in boxing and so fighting. He was always, we were always entangled into what's, what we really wanted to project, but I loved working with Larry. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is George Edward Foreman, but is also known as Big George. He was born January 10, 1949 in Marshall, Texas, making him age 73 at the time of this production. He stands at 6 feet 4 or 1.93 meters. He loves eating salmon steak. His favorite sandwich is broccoli and cheese. In recognition of Foreman's patriotism and community service, the American Legion honored him with its James V. Day Good Guy Award during its 95th National Convention in 2013. His knockout punch against Michael Moore caused Moore to bite his mouthpiece in half. In the late 1990s, Foreman became ill in his dressing room. He was suffering from exhaustion and heat stroke and stated he had a near-death experience. He spoke of being in a hellish, frightening place of nothingness and despair and realized that he was in the midst of death. After this experience, Foreman became a born-again Christian, dedicating his life for the next decade to God. He opened a youth center that bears his name. Foreman continues to speak about his experience on Christian television broadcasts, such as the 700 Club and the Trinity Broadcasting Network. George and his wife, Mary Joan, have been married since 1985. He has a total of 12 children from his various relationships. He had four previous marriages, Adriana Calhoun from 1971 to 1974, Cynthia Lewis from 1977 to 1979, Sharon Goodson from 1981 to 1982, and Andrea Skeet from 1982 to 1985. All five of his sons are named George Edward Foreman, and his daughters have George as a middle name, except for one daughter named Georgetta. Foreman has insisted that all of his children obtain a college degree, but that hasn't stopped a few of them from hopping into the boxing ring diploma in hand. George III is following in his father's boxing footsteps by recently winning his first professional boxing match. Daughter Frida had a brief career trading jabs with a record of 4-1, Daughter Natalie has taken a different path and is an aspiring singer. You know, HBO just took over. took over. So now it's fallen to someone else, and something, someone's just going to have to come out and do something great in boxing. He grew up in Houston with six siblings. He was raised by J.D. Foreman, but his biological father was Leroy Moorhead. George explained in his autobiography that he was a troubled youth. He dropped out of school at the age of 15 and became a mugger. A year later, he wanted to change his life and convinced his mother to sign him up for Job Corps. He wanted his GED through Job Corps and trained to become a carpenter and bricklayer. He began training for boxing after a move to Pleasanton, California. Foreman started his boxing career out with a bang, winning a gold medal in the 1968 Mexico City Olympic Games in the boxing heavyweight division. He defeated Jonas Sapulis, a 29-year-old veteran 10 years older than Foreman, and with a 12-year career already under his belt. Foreman turned pro in 1969, winning 13 fights that year, 11 of them by knockout. In 1970, Foreman won all 12 of his bouts, and the next year he won seven more fights by knockout. He continued his impressive winning streak until 1974, when he faced tougher opponents such as Ken Norton and Muhammad Ali. For his fight against Ali, he traveled to Zaire, and the match was being touted as the Rumble in the Jungle. Ali defeated Foreman and became the first boxer to knock him down. 
Unable to secure another victory, Foreman retired in 1977 after a devastating loss to Jimmy Young. He retired at the age of 48 with a final record of 76 wins, 68 knockouts, and 5 losses. He's authored 5 books and he still makes the occasional appearance on TV, guest on The 700 Club, judge on The American Inventor, and film, cameo in Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian. In 2022, Foreman competed in Season 8 of The Masked Singer as Venus Flytrap. Put it on a little bit and you wait about 20 minutes, maybe less. An old pain, you get a little relief, and that's all you want is a little relief so we can go out there and hurt it again. George Foreman has the net worth of a champ, but you'd be surprised to learn how little of his fortune actually comes from boxing. In fact, after turning professional in 1969 and stacking up an impressive career of 76 wins out of 81 fights, by the 1980s, Foreman had a relatively small net worth of $5 million at the peak of his boxing career. Outside boxing, he's a successful entrepreneur and known for his promotion of the George Foreman Grill. In 1994, he was approached by Salton Incorporated, which was looking for a spokesperson for its fat-reducing grill. Foreman obliged, and by 2009, the grill had sold over 100 million units. Foreman has never confirmed how much he's made from the endorsement, but we know that Salton paid him $138 million in 1999 for the right to use his name. Previous to that, he was being paid 40% of the profits on each grill sold, earning him roughly $4.5 million a month in payouts at its peak. Foreman is a partner in the Panther Racing IndyCar team. He has a net worth of $300 million. George and Mary Joan live on a 40-acre estate in Texas. The house has six bedrooms and seven bathrooms with nearly 12,000 square feet of space. Furthermore, the home is simply super pretty and serene. Also, it features a tennis court, basketball court, and waterfalls. Complete with a 64-car garage, this stunning compound is the perfect place for Foreman to house his huge car collection. He also has a Malibu townhome, which he purchased for $2.3 million. He bought the beachfront pied -a as a place to stay when visiting the LA area. The townhouse has two master suites on 2,800 square feet and an attached two-car garage. The unit, built in 1990s on three levels, each with a balcony. He owns the following cars. A 1977 VW Beetle convertible, a 2000 VW Beetle Turbo, a 1977 Ford Mustang Celine, a Mercedes G-Wagon, a 2000 Ferrari 360, a 1950 GMC pickup, a Mercedes SLK 320, a Chevy Silverado Z71, a 1991 Acura NSX, A 2007 Corvette Indy 500 pace car replica. A 1992 Corvette ZR1. A 1996 Corvette Grand Sport. A 1963 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, a Ferrari 458, a Volkswagen Combi, a 2012 Corvette Z06 Centennial Edition, a 2011 Corvette Z06 Carbon Limited Edition, A 2009 Competition Edition Chevrolet Corvette. A 
a 2009 Corvette GT1 Championship Edition, a 2008 Corvette Victory Edition.